is uh, Dr. Peter Skellington. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon and uh, I work at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and Epworth Hospitals in Melbourne, Australia. Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Very happy to be here with Dr. Peter Skillington. We're going to be talking about the Ross procedure, but first I want to ask Dr. Skillington, what attracted you to cardiac surgery? Uh, I think I wanted to do something that made a difference to patients that uh, could be could be measured. Uh, I, I like the, the way that uh, you if someone comes in with an illness, you do the operation, and then a week later they leave hospital and they're fixed, if you like. Um, compared to sort of other medical areas where you um, dish out pills, and uh, there may or may not be an observable difference in, in, in what's happened to them. A question for you, Dr. Skillington, do yeah. you specialize in any particular type of valve surgery? Well, I have a, a very big interest in aortic valve surgery and in particular the Ross procedure because I've been doing that operation for 20 years now and uh, I really believe it is the best way of treating um, a younger patient with um, aortic valve disease. So, Dr. Skillington, about how many Ross procedures have you done during your career? Well, I first started performing the Ross procedure in 1992, and uh, up until now, I've done um, 340 wow. odd operations. Wow. Ross procedures out there. What is the Ross procedure? Okay, so, so the Ross procedure is where we replace the patient's diseased aortic valve with um, their own pulmonary valve. So we, in other words, swap that pulmonary valve, which is otherwise identical, if you like, to the aortic valve, into the aortic valve position, and then we replace their pulmonary valve with a, another human cadaver uh, valve. So a big question about the Ross procedure that, that I typically get is, what are the advantages of a two-valve operation like the Ross procedure? The advantage is that compared to the other alternatives of either a mechanical aortic valve or a bioprosthetic aortic valve, that the Ross procedure offers good durability, better than any other tissue valve, uh, better hemodynamic function, uh, in other words, it functions more like a normal aortic valve. Uh, and then if, when you compare it to the mechanical valve, it has the additional advantage of not, the patient not needing to take lifelong anticoagulation, and that's a huge advantage. Uh, because uh, that means taking a drug like warfarin, which uh, requires uh, a blood test every two weeks, uh, the additional problem of a ticking noise from the mechanical valve. Uh, so, um, if you look at all those things, I think I think the Ross procedure has a huge amount to offer. So, Dr. Skillington has performed over 340 Ross procedures. He just won an award here at the STS for his research over a 20-year period. And I imagine the patients want to know a key question: What is your number one piece of advice for a patient evaluating the Ross procedure? The, the Ross procedure is a complicated operation, and uh, like a lot of other complicated um, surgical operations, it's actually best to go to someone who has expertise in that area, uh, who's um, you know, performed a large number and has consistently shown uh, that their results are good. Um, and when I say the results are good, I mean that they have a low operative mortality and that there's a low uh, rate of reoperation after the Ross procedure. Great. Well, Dr. Skillington, on behalf of all the patients in our community who have come to you for surgery, Surgery, including the Ross procedure. I want to thank you for all the great work that you're doing in Australia. Really appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by and sharing your experience with us.